hi welcome back to Kila Arts today we are going to be painting a sea anemone blacklight fluorescent paint I like to use golden acrylic and you can use any type of fluorescent black paint you want you're going to need black acrylic paint white acrylic paint the canvas of course and a white chalk pencil so follow along and enjoy here are the paints that I use golden acrylic and I also use this golden acrylic for white. However, for the black, I just use a folk art paint to coat the canvas black. Hello, so let's get started. I'm using an eight x 10 canvas that I painted black with acrylic paint and I have my chalk pencil. We are going to be working on an anemone, which I have a problem saying. <laughs> the spelling is even more awkward. To start off, this is going to be the center, like that, and then just roughly give yourself a direction of where these things are going to be going off. I don't know the correct name for these. Some of them cross over, but as long as you get the flow of them. And a lot of them are actually going to overlap. And once we have this outline, so it's kind of like a sun. And I'm going to show you guys a trick. As long as your corners are good, and we're good. Mm. Next step get your white acrylic paint and a fine brush with a tip like that. This next part is important because make sure you do the under first to give your anemone some depth. So these ones are under, so I'm doing these now, but when you watch the time lapse, you're gonna also see me go over. Now that we have the basics here and the unders here, we're going to go ahead and give it our first coat of fluorescent paint. Now we're going to go ahead with the outside first because that's the under layer. And then, so this is the first layer here. And then you let that layer dry and then you do your second layer and you just go right into the center. And at the center of this, it all starts off purple. So go around to each thing. I don't know what you call these. They're not tentacles. And you make it purple and then it'll go out into a fluorescent red. So I'm going to just show you that. So see how the purple goes behind the green? And then just make it come up to about there. Clean your brush, grab fluorescent red or any color you want. And this will come in. Make sure you're using a good brush with a nice point. And now I will time lapse it. This is what it looks like in the black light. You can't tell much of a difference because it's daylight. Now that we have the color, 
on the first coat, we're gonna go ahead and now you can put your second layer in. So I'll start here. And you have to do white first because then the fluorescent paint goes on top of the white. If you don't do the white, your paint's not gonna pop or it will just look really awesome in the black light, but in regular light, it's not gonna look good. And here is what we have so far. So now we're going to go back through and we're going to put the same color pattern on these ones that are going over. Here it is, our finished product. Thanks for painting with me. I'm happy with the way it came out. Please comment below with any questions that you may have, and you can send me pictures if you created one of your own. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Etsy. Thanks again for watching, bye.